Hey everyone, John here from Sunning Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. This video is very exciting because today we're going to review something that I've been wanting to feature on the channel for a long time, ever since it came out basically. And you guys have also mentioned it to me many, many times. And of course I'm talking about the Victory Amplification Super Kraken VX100. Release the Kraken! This thing looks so good, doesn't it? It's probably the smallest 100 watt amplifier that I've ever seen. So that's really cool about this amplifier. It's very powerful in terms of power and wattage, but also in terms of versatility. And it's very portable on top of that. It's not very lightweight though, but some might say that amplifiers with heavy iron in it sound better than very lightweight amplifiers, especially with higher wattage ratings. Anyway, let's go over the features that this amplifier has to offer and also check out some tones with various guitars. So as I said, it's a 100 watt amplifier made by hand in the UK. Victory designed this amplifier together with Rabia Massad, a very well-known guitarist on YouTube, a very talented guitarist as well. Mine has four 5881 tubes in the power section, but I believe that you can also put EL34s in the power section. And we have four 12AX7 preamp tubes in the preamp section. It's basically a two channel amplifier, but channel one has two modes, a clean and a crunch mode. So you could also kind of see this as a three channel amplifier because of that. And we also have two power settings. You can set it to the full 100 watts or to 30 watts as well, which is great for recording and playing at home, stuff like that. But we also have a bunch of other great features that we will get into. Let's go over the front panel to see what sort of controls we have over here. On the right side of the front panel, we have the standby switch. You can also choose between the 100 watt or 30 watt setting here. And then we have two independent master volume controls along with the selector switch that is also selectable via the foot switch. This is great for leads and solos, of course, especially on stage. And then we have a very simple and shared three band EQ over here. On the left side of the front panel, next to the input jack, we have three switches with dedicated LED indicator lights. All these switches can be set to on or off or to the foot switch mode in the middle position. The left switch is the effects loop on or off control. Then we have the very nice preamp focus control. This is essentially a sort of pre-boost, which sounds similar to something like a tube screamer pedal. It cuts some of the lows and boosts the mids, making the amp sound more focused and tight. It's a great feature that makes this amp that much more versatile. And by the way, on the back of the amp, we also have the bass focus control. This is basically a sort of preset depth or resonance control with one setting with big and sort of loose lows and another setting with much more tight and conservative lows. And then back to the front panel, next to the preamp focus switch, we have the clean or crunch mode selector switch for the gain one channel. The clean mode on the gain one channel is very interesting on this amplifier. It's not the most clean, clean channel as it starts to break up easily, and it's also not very bright or scooped as some other clean channels are. So it's kind of flat and even sounding, which makes it a great pedal platform actually. So the character of your guitar and pickup really shines through on this setting. It's not the most amazing clean channel in the world by default, but it's still a great addition to this amplifier. And since it has a great pushed clean tone, it sounds great with humbucker pickups, especially on the bridge position for my taste anyway. So we're gonna try that with my ESP LTD seven string baritone, the purple Stefan Carpenter model with the single Fishman in the bridge, the Stef Fishman Fluence pickup to be precise. And I'm also gonna put my Laney Black Country Custom Secret Path Reverb pedal in the effects loop. The preamp and bass focus controls are off for this clip. And note that for all the clips in this video, the amplifier will be fed into my RED7 amplification amp central reactive load and also York Audio IRs. And for this clip, I'm using the 121-1 file from the MES212 V30 cab. Here we go.
Very nice. Now also some quick isolated bits. Now when you set the gain one channel to the crunch mode, that's where this channel really starts to shine in my opinion. The crunch channel sounds really fat and organic and it's really versatile actually. So let's try a good and organic crunch tone with my Fender Telecaster on the bridge pickup. Again with the preamp focus and power amp bass focus turned off for that more organic and fat tone. And for this tone I'll use the Mix01 file from the York Audio MRS-H412 Blackjack cab. Here we go. Alright, and now also some isolated parts. Great, let's take another quick look at the back of the amplifier. On the left side we have the power switch, bias adjustment ports, very convenient indeed, various speaker output jacks and the power amp bass focus control as mentioned before. This amp is also MIDI controllable by the way, which is awesome especially for playing live. You can select your MIDI channel over here with the dip switches. We have three foot switch inputs for changing channels, modes, etc. with your feet and of course the effects loop. As I said, the power amp bass focus can make this amplifier sound that much more tight, especially in conjunction with the preamp focus control if so desired. So let's try that on the gain one channel on the crunch mode for a sort of hot rotted British tone, similar sounding to something like a Friedman BE, with those saturated fat mids and tight lows. I'll use my ESP LTD Phoenix 1000 Deluxe guitar on the Seymour Duncan custom bridge pickup. And we're going through the Mix 06 file from the York Audio MRSH 412 M25 cabinet. So again, the preamp and power amp bass focus controls are on this time for that more tight and focused tone. Here we go.
Okay, and now also some isolated bits. So we haven't even checked out the Gain 2 channel yet, but it's already a very versatile amplifier. So let's get really heavy right now with the Gain 2 channel. I can't wait. Now the Gain 2 channel has plenty of gain on tap, and it's also pretty tight sounding by default, which does make it great for modern rock and metal indeed. And again, the preamp and power amp focus controls make this channel that much more versatile. They really allow you to shape this channel even further to your liking. So let's try some six string heavy rock and metal riffs with my Gibson Les Paul Custom on the bridge pickup and with the preamp and power amp focus controls off this time. And this time we're going through mix 12 from the York Audio MES 412 OS cabinet. Here we go. And now also some isolated riffs. So I really loved that tone. This amplifier is obviously great for those tight metal riffs. It also just really has a very unique character with huge mids that really make the guitar tone stand out in the mix. And I imagine that this characteristic really helps it to stand out in a live mix on stage as well. Now let's go a little lower with my ESP LTD 7 string baritone, the SCT-607B with the EMG-81-7 in the bridge. Tuned to B flat and again with the preamp and power amp focus controls off. And I'm going through mix 10 from the York Audio MES 212 V30 cabinet. Here we go.
Lovely, and now also some isolated parts. Now obviously this amplifier is great for extended range guitars as you get here. So let's go even lower with an 8 string. My ESP LTD SC608B, the Stefan Carpenter 8 string model to be precise. Again with the Fishman Fluence Stefan Carpenter pickups in it on the bridge pickup. And this time I will use the preamp focus control as that will really help those very low notes out. It will make it sound much more tight and focused because of that. And I'm going to use the same cabinet as the previous clip. Here we go. Great, now also isolated. Great! Just to echo what I said before, I think this amplifier sounds absolutely huge and it does sound very unique. It has its own tonal characteristics and it definitely also is a very versatile amplifier with all the tonal shaping options that it has to offer, like the preamp focus, the power amp focus, the clean and crunch modes, etc. The clean tones are a nice addition to this amplifier, but the crunch mode on gain 1 and the gain 2 channel is where this amp really shines in my opinion. The gain 1 channel sounds more classic, more organic and thick. And the gain 2 channel is great for those soaring and tight high gain tones. All the footswitch and MIDI control options along with the dual master volume setup also make this a great amplifier for playing live shows. Now you may have noticed that this amplifier does not have a presence control. And there are times where I sometimes miss the presence control a little bit. However, I don't think that that's a big deal because one, this amplifier sounds pretty balanced by default. And two, you could always put an equalizer in the loop to shape the tone of the amplifier even further. And that's not even an expensive option, to be honest. And I believe that keeping the presence control out of the layout does help with keeping this amplifier more compact. So overall, I really like this amplifier a lot. And I'm definitely planning on using this more on the channel in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you'd like to see me do with this amplifier specifically. And also let me know what your overall thoughts are on this amplifier. 
Thanks to Victory Amps for this opportunity as they sent me this amplifier to feature on the channel. However, as with all my videos, all the opinions that I express in my videos are 100% my own. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.